Hey everybody, it's Double Wide Six, and today what I'm working on is I'm switching out my metal and vinyl old drawer slides with newer, brand new actually, ball bearing slides that are full extension and the slow close mechanism. So this cabinet of four drawers are going to be the first drawers that we start to work on. The first step is going to be to actually remove the old drawer and take out the tracks. So for these drawers, there's just two Phillips head screws here. And the back is made with plastic clips that just kind of clip in the wall. So you can actually just pull them out. Just like that. So the first step is to remove the old hardware off your old drawer. Okay, so in order to install your track, the first thing you want to do is determine where the back of the track is. In this case, the back's where the soft close is, which is actually plastic. Now, the part that goes against the drawer is this narrower part, and you want to push it all the way up against the drawer face, and you want to line up the lower bracket even or flush with the bottom of the drawer. A lot of people put these in the middle, but if you're going to do that, you have to measure that and draw a line. I'm going to actually pre-drill this and put in one screw right now. With that one screw in, what I want to do is extend the drawer extension. And what I can do is I can open this up. This is the release and that will allow the track to slide out. And what that does is that gives me an area where I can access the screw hole. I'm going to move the track forward, make this flush, and there's a screw hole right here that I want to pre-drill and put in a screw. For the backs of the drawer, the easiest way to handle that is to order with your drawer slides these return pieces which will insert in the back and connect to the back of the cabinet. They'll slip on just like that. So at this point, that tracks on there and I can remove this to prepare it for install in the cabinet frame. It's always easiest to do this job with the granite or the countertop off, but in our case, that's not an option because we're upgrading our old tracks. So I'll show you some tricks to make this as easy as possible. One of the first things we're going to do is we're going to connect the back of this track flush with the face of the cabinet. And what I want to do is I want to use this hole that was already there from the last slides. So if that's something that you can do, that'll help keep your cabinet face frame stronger. So now that I have one screw holding our track in, I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure exactly from the floor of the cabinet up to the bottom of the track. And in this case, it's 18 and 7 eighths of an inch. So I need that measurement and the distance from the side of the cabinet to the face frame. And that distance is 7 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to take those two measurements and I'm going to make myself a fixture so that I can get this track exactly parallel. Otherwise the drawer is not going to open and close properly. So here's the fixture I made. The distance from the bottom of this board up to here is 18 and 7 eighths. And this top little notch here is 7 eighths of an inch. So all I have to do is slip this in here, pick up my track so that it fits on top of the board. Make sure the board is square and flat against the cabinet and that's going to hold our track perfectly parallel. This is the end bracket and when I put the screw in I'm going to try and center it in this track then I can move the bracket left or right as needed. So I have this fixture in here holding up the track 
and I'm doing the right side just because it's easiest to show and I could push this against the cabinet because I already have that offset there so that'll keep it all parallel and straight and now all I have to do is reach in here with the screw extension and tighten up our screw and if you're able to do that, that's going to get that track in there perfectly square for you. Now that the tracks are in, we're going to see that the drawer fits. So we'll line it up with the tracks. And at first, there'll be a little bit of resistance. You're going to push it in, and it's going to roll with those ball bearings. And then when you pull it out, it should even up. So you can see it's a full extension drawer, it slides real well, and it's also auto-closing. To remove the self-closing bracket, what you can do is push these plastic tabs down, and then take a screwdriver, and you should be able to release the plastic. There's a piston in here you can pop out just like that. There's also a spring. Once you get those out of there, that bypasses the soft close mechanism. And you can put this back in here and snap it into place. Some drawers will allow you to set this thing in the off position so it won't grab and it won't work with the slow close. That's not the case for these. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, the link for these drawers will be in the description down below. That's all for today. Bye!